Welcome to my house. Buck here. And we are out in California completing the missions out there. We're about to head out and start mission number two. We're going after some of the big guys that are out there. For mission two, we need the white catfish, the common carp. We need the, uh, what else are we looking for out there? Oh, the, the steelhead, striped bass, white sturgeon, and the chinook. So, we're gonna go after, because it's basically two spots on there that we have, we're gonna hunt these guys down in. So we're gonna go after the white catfish and the um, the common carp, the striped bass, and the, and the sturgeon. We're gonna catch them all over on the right there off of that peninsula, and then we'll head down to the dam and hook up with the steelhead and get the trout down there. All right, so with that, we're going to, let's get over here to the line. All right, we're gonna jump in at the Foggy Sanctuary and go get our boat and take a little boat trip right, right over there to the island. Let's let's head on over there. All right, guys, I am gonna jump in the boat and get us over there, and I will see you in a second. All right, guys, we'll get, get ourselves rolled in here. Ah, sunny day still, or 1040. We're, we're not in our peak. We've lost our peak, but we're going to grab what we can over here. And this has always been a very productive spot for me anyway, whether it's peak or not. We'll grab some fish out of here pretty quick. We, I like to set up shop right here facing the green building. Give yourself some room back up if you have to plant her down there all right let's go Ooh. we're gonna go with a shiner and the shiner we'll put right up here right there all right we'll put him down in our front position and then we've got on our heavy chaser, we've got some spawn sack there. We're going to hit this corner in here. Now, this is a real deep corner. It just bends right along the shoreline here, and it drops off real deep right about where that marker boy is right there. Oh, my kitty cat came to say hello to me. He's not going to be quiet either. Hang on, guys. Guys, well, we don't even get all the poles in the water. I knew that was going to happen, which is kind of cool. Oh, we got some sunshine there. Looking, making for some bad videos. Now you got to leave go of the pole to put your shades on. Let's crank him a bit. Let go. Get the glasses, and we're back. All right, now we can see a little bit better. Is our first one and that's our sturgeon come on big guy we're done playing now it's time to come in time to come home to papa Good. all right small one 29 8 4 4 so we'll take him and that'll get him off the list all right let's mark him off white sturgeon gone all right, well, we need to make money, so we're just going to keep throwing them back in here. Well, there comes our striped bass, probably. Now, these sturgeon will hit on the, they will hit on the shiner, so sometimes over there on that one slot, you do get a, you will pick up a sturgeon over there, but We've got our striped bass here. Not too shabby. 903. I gotta like the money with those guys there. The striped bass do bring you some money in here. So it's not bad. And the sturgeon stop hitting, you still got the striped bass hitting. And then you've also got the um you've also got the carp that we're gonna be hitting. 
All right, so let's keep this guy right now. We'll get him back in there. And we need the money, so we'll do that. All right, let's throw him down in there, and that sounds pretty good there. All right, now let's get back. Now, this is our duck muscle on our Brutus, and this is the one I want to get in because we need the carp. So I like to throw him right at the in between those markers, right at that tree reflection. The one thing about this is, we, and when you use, like I said, in a lot of the earlier videos when you're playing this this game here. Um, one thing that stays pretty constant that I've learned is that the reflections in the water from the trees at the same time of day are always the same place. <laughs> so it doesn't, I guess the atmospheric, the axis of the earth doesn't take effect here as far as seasonals go. So that reflection of that tree is always there. You throw down in there and you're always going to hit the same spot. It's like having a marker buoy. And you don't have to waste your money on it. Remember the reflections and where you're throwing them. All right, so we need that carp to hit. All right, let's, let's wait him out. It won't be too long here. Now, well, this one here is probably going to be a sturgeon. Money guys, you need to get every fish you can. That's why these guys they bring in some nice money. So we need them both. Oh, nice in there. Come on, big guy. Forty-three pounder, three grand. We'll take him, huh? How about it? Come on. We got ourselves a third of year, I'm pretty sure. Oh, and there's our cart, hopefully. No, we don't want to miss him. I think that's probably our cart. They hooked as long as you find these barbless hooks and these broad stems. We're going to have to be careful how we fight this guy. This guy's not too far away, so hopefully we can get him in real quick. He doesn't want to come in now. He's being a little bugger. Come on. Oh, no, he's the carp. Go back and give him a few tubs. Come on, boy, get in there. We'll have to give up the third and I got the, For the sake of the mission. Oh, man, he's going to continue to run. All right, we're going to do that. We'll go back and yank on this guy a little bit. See if we can get him a little closer. Make me miss that carp. There we go. Come on, big guy. Let's take a look here. Nice trophy common carp. We can knock him off the list. 
Okay, common carp gone. Strike bass is off the list. I forgot about him. So we need to steal it. We need that white catfish. Now, wouldn't you know it? <laughs> the one that steals my bait constantly over here. And we're going to have a problem getting him. I'm sure of it. So, we'll just see what that's just how buck luck goes. Alright, let's get the rest of these poles back in the water, guys. I'll be back with you. Well, got one in here. I'm not doing my pole number three. I would have been another club. I don't think this is our cat. Striper. Alright, keep throwing them out there. That piece lives out there too, and I just feel my baby. Let's do this on now. See what we got here. Did we got anything? Maybe this is him. I think so. I switched baits up, guys. There he is. The white catfish. We can mark him off the list. Yeah, I put. I went. <clears throat> took two poles. Uh, put cheese on one and a small cut bait on the other one. And sure enough, bang. All right. Excellent. All right. Now, if we mark him off the list, let's see here now. Let's take a look. Or buck. White catfish is off the list. We didn't get to I didn't grab a steelhead over there. So we just need the two. Salmon and the steelhead. So what we're going to do is I'm going to I'm going to pack up my gear here. And we're going to head down to the dam. We're going to see if we can grab these last two over there real quick. So I'll see you in a bit, fellas. Oh, after I catch that fish. All right, guys, got everything all cleaned up here. What we're going to do is we are going to spawn down to below the Crichton Dam. And we're just going to run down there and grab these two last fish. Get this mission completed. The buck can go back to farming and making some money. Let's walk down here to the end. Do, 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 do. Don't trip. It's a little rocky here, a little slippy. Whoop. Buck, you went too far over that way. There we go. Alright, guys. We got a bullet spinner on here. We're a spinner, two inch spinner tail. So we're just going to throw around this damn mirror until we nab these two guys. Shouldn't be too long. Hopefully, we're still not. We're at the bottom of the peak. I may have to fast forward. I will see how it goes. I'm gonna throw around for a little bit here. See how the bite is. <clears throat> Hopefully within the first two or three catches we'll have this done. So we'll see how it goes. You know how fishkin is. Don't always you don't always get what you want. Oh we missed him right off the bat right there. But that's a good sign maybe. I don't know. Don't count your chickens, buck. Slow uh, down a little bit. Hello. What are you doing there, buck? I know you've been doing for now. Take long for that to hit the rock bottom. Come on, fellas. There's a whole lot of water here to work with. Work with me. Alright, well, this is what we gotta do. And there we got it. Something finally. <laughs> I'm gonna switch up to a mini crank. Walk down the lighter gear. One more funny. Uh oh. Easy buck. Trout, remember that. Trout family. Tugging on him. Oh, 
know, I threw everything that bullet spinner. I even took a bar run out with some sponge that. It's off peak. It's, it's tough to get him to hit. Good at speed out of this one on this lightweight rod, though. Come on. That big? Still had 16 pounder on 13 pound gear. That's kind of nice. Let's take a look at that guy. Not too shabby, huh? We'll take one of him. That's, that's pretty good. Have him on the old 13 pounder list. <laughs> 702 XP. That's nice there. We can mark steelhead off the list. All we need now is that salmon. All right, let's see. Where are we going to get the salmon at? Where do I want to pick it him at? Let's see. Let's try over here. I got some book. Ah, see, we got some turmoil going on up here in the corner. Let's see if we can grab one out of there. Well, there's one in the corner. Let's hope he's not a damn steelhead. fish I saw a glimpse of pink I have a hope I have more hope I have great hope and there it is the Chinook salmon <clears throat> we mark him off the list and that my friends yep let's complete him here keep him That does it for me. Anyway, uh, I can only videotape exploration one and two. I've already caught this 
monster here, the gourmet spoon. So you guys, the rest of the mission here, you got two more missions to do. You got to go catch five shells, get yourself the gourmet spoon. Oh, that put us over. I'm going to have to get rid of ten fish. I'll show you how to do that. My, I, how I do my strategic releases here, so we can make some more money on that last fish. Anyway, you get the five shells, you get the gourmet spoon. That's a one ounce, five aught. Spoon. It's very good. <clears throat> Don't lose that guy. Because if you catch the fish, the monster, you can't catch the gourmet spoon again. You can't get it. Anyway, <clears throat> and then you go on after the monster. Now the monster gives you XP 80. What do we got written down here? 8730 XP you get for him. You get two bait coins. You get uh, $10,612. Where the hell they come up with that number? I have no idea. Ten thousand six hundred and twelve dollars. The gourmet striped bass mount. So you got two more to go, fellas. Go ahead and knock them out. Where are we going next? Let's see. Where are we at here? Cannon Creek, Alaska. Wonderful. Lots of salmon, trout up there. That's kind of a cool place. The grizzly bears get you from behind, so you gotta be careful. <laughs> nice place to fish, though. Very shallow, big, open. A lot of cool stuff. So, I want to thank you. I hope you got something out of this. I hope this helps you guys out with knocking out them missions. Like I said, you know, take patience is the virtue here on this lake, and uh, fish your peaks because it's. Unless you're just out here farming, like I'm going to go back to do over there at the honey hole. We're going to we're going to go ahead and probably get another day in before my license runs out. <clears throat> Maybe two if we're if we're if we're good and we're lucky. Catch a lot of those sturgeon and those those trophy carp over there. They're a lot of fun. We'll make some money. Where are we out here? So how do we do? Let's take a look. How do we do? Forty-four fish. 561 pounds, we've got 41,504. So I'm gonna to try to turn that into about 42.5, maybe if I can get a three or 4,000 dollar fish. So we've got all these mission fish that we did. We're only 10 pounds over, actually. So 10 pounds, is, I'm not gonna lose a whole lot of money. 41,504, well let's just get under. We don't need these guys, they don't give us any money anyway. We'll just release them until we get down to I don't, normally I don't get rid of trophies, and we'll get rid of that guy, because I like my trophy count to stay up. Where are we at? 558. Get rid of a couple more of these guys. 555, boom, boom. There's 551.5, we still gotta get rid of this catfish. Alright, there we are. Well, yeah, we only lost a, not quite a grand, not even. So now we go catch another one of these guys down here, 3,500, and we're right up there at 44. So that's what I call my little strategic releases. We didn't need all that bullshit anyway. Keep your trophies, cause your trophy counts go. You know, you want to keep that your trophy counts up. So that's it. Got anything you liked out of this? Like we always say, guys, it helps me out a lot. Hit, hit the like button, subscribe. We have a lot of fun, what the hell? Buck's not always on his game. It's a little bit slow there grinding through the low peaks today. So anyway, <clears throat> hit the like, subscribe, follow me on Facebook. I'm not allowed to post pictures and stuff like that on YouTube, you know, it's gotta be videos. So I do a lot of other crap on my, on my Facebook page that I'm allowed to do. Never ever give up the fight. We'll see you later.